I'm at Heathrow Airport to fly to Barbados with Virgin Atlantic in upper class. Virgin shares check-in zone A with partner Delta. As I was travelling with hand luggage only, I skipped check-in and went straight to the upper class wing. Here there was a private security channel. Through security, the Virgin Clubhouse is about a five minute walk through Duty 3 and the main departure lounge. A full menu of hot food was available with table service. I had the English breakfast. A great feature of the Virgin Clubhouse is the roof deck with views across the airport apron. I could see my aircraft being prepared at the gate. The gate was on the remote pier, about a 10 minute walk from the lounge. The flight was on an Airbus A330-300 aircraft, registration GV Ray, called Miss Sunshine. It was 10 years old. Priority boarding had already started when I arrived at the gate, so I went straight onto the aircraft. Upper class was in the front cabin of the aircraft. There were 31 suites in a 1-1-1 configuration. It was one of the older Virgin aircrafts with a herringbone layout with all the seats facing onto the aisle. I was in seat 5A. The seat had a width of 22 inches and could recline back 42 degrees. It also flipped forward to form a fully flat 78 inch long bed. Next to the seat was a small storage pocket. And a magazine holder with a power socket to the side. Pre-flight juice, water, champagne or a ruby sipper cocktail were offered. The cocktail comprised sparkling wine with rhubarb and raspberry tonic water. The amenity kit included some creams, toothpaste and toothbrush, socks, eye mask, earplugs and a pen. The aisles and exits need to be kept clear. So, if there is anything you haven't put in the overhead lockers... Soon the safety video was playing and we were pushing back. We taxied across the airfield to take off from the northerly runway 27 right.
The flight time to Barbados was scheduled at 9 hours and 10 minutes, but today we were expected to complete the journey in just under 8.5 hours. Soon after takeoff, drinks and snacks were offered. Good quality noise cancelling headphones were provided for the entertainment system. This featured a range of movies and TV shows. I watched Mrs. Harris Goes to Paris, which killed some time. Wi-Fi was available at a hefty £21 for the full flight. It had download speeds of 18 megabits per second. A button beside the seat revealed the table which folded out in front of the seat. The menu included a choice of starter, main course and dessert. Additional main course choices could be pre-ordered in advance. For starter, there was a choice of textures of beetroot or chicken parfait. One thing that didn't impress me was the crew member taking the used knife and fork off of my plate and leaving them on the table for the next course. For the main course, I had pre ordered the butter chicken curry. It was okay, but lacked any real kick. For dessert, I had a fairly congealed bread and butter pudding. I finished with a plate of cheese. Overall, I was slightly underwhelmed by the meal. There were three bathrooms around the cabin, two at the rear and one at the front, although the front washroom was taken out of service during meal services. The bathrooms were a good size and were kept clean throughout the flight. Wren products were provided. There was a baby changing table and a power socket for razors. Also at the rear of the cabin was the upper class bar. Virgin is replacing the bar with social spaces on its newer aircraft. Some fruit and snacks were available, but a crew member had to be sought out to provide a drink as there was no call bell. Halfway through the flight, ice creams were offered. A soft duvet cover was provided. Below the entertainment screen was a USB port to charge your phone, although the port at my seat was a little temperamental, not always charging. In the second half of the flight, the seatbelt sign was on for a good period as we encountered turbulence. About 90 minutes before landing, a second meal was offered. I chose the fish goujon sandwich, which was good. We flew over the island to approach the airport from the west.
there were good views over Bridgetown on the approach. Overall, it was a good flight. The food wasn't as great as on previous flights I've taken. The seat wasn't as good as on the newer aircraft, and the service was okay. But at the end of the day, it did get me to the sunshine of Barbados. If you've enjoyed the review, please subscribe for future videos and comment below to let me know what you think.